All right, I have my empty quart paint can to put the mixed up nitrocellulose lacquer in, a couple paint, a couple of tongue depressors to scrape the lacquer out of the bowl into the can. I've got my instruction sheet, my one cup measuring cup to measure out the acetone, my 60 grams, two ounces, which is about one third of a cup of my powder. Now I'm going to weigh out two cups of the acetone. I'm doing this outdoors. I do not want to be breathing these fumes or letting them accumulate indoors. Got a nice stainless steel bowl and a wire whisk. And Lloyd says to just keep this agitating while you slowly put this powder in here. Do not let it settle out. Keep it stirring and it'll dissolve in a couple minutes. Instead of forming a big clump in there, it'll all the little particles will dissolve real nicely. And what Lloyd says, I trust. supposed to end up with a consistency about like heavy cream, not as thick as honey, not as thin as milk. Homemade nitrocellulose lacquer. All right, I've got it all in there and suspended. I still see solid bits and pieces in there, so I'll keep it moving. He says, just don't stop. Keep it going till it's all dissolved. It's definitely thickening the liquid up. We've got solid pieces in there, so I'm gonna keep it moving. Oh yeah, it's thickening up nicely. Hmm, interesting. If it gets too thick, I know I could always add some more acetone to it to thin it down. And this will be a base that I can add meal powder to, maybe a little magnesium to create a nice slurry for priming comets and stars. Yeah, it's just getting a little bit thick, a little on the thick side. I'll add a little acetone to it to thin it down. Yeah, right, I probably added a good, oh, third cup, maybe a half cup already to that. And it's still a little on the thick side. I'm going to add a little bit more acetone, another quarter cup or so. Don't see too many solid bits in there. I'm scraping down the sides. to be a nice heavy cream consistency I think. So I used a good total two and a half to two and three quarters cups of acetone for that 60 grams of powder. Now Lloyd says to what, cover this and let it sit for half an hour and then come back and whisk it again. Yeah I think so. Let it sit for 30 minutes, come back and whisk again for about 3 or 4 minutes and your lacquer is ready. Well that's a nice easy process, that's for sure. Yeah, that's good. Let's see, it's almost all dissolved, but not quite, so I'm going to keep whisking this for another few minutes. Then I'll cover it, come back in a half hour and whisk it some more and finish up the batch. One thing I'd like to show also is uh, what this is the consistency this is like. It's just dripping off of there, not like honey more, and not as thin as milk. It's thick but it's I would say heavy cream or like a thin pancake syrup something like that. Yeah, it's gotten so nice and smooth. Cover that up for a half hour or more. My wife does not like the fumes from that stuff. She immediately starts to get a headache so 
please don't do this indoors. Those acetone fumes are noxious and flammable. Well, this has been sitting here for a half hour now. Oh, it says to whisk it for a few more minutes. Man, that stuff is nice and creamy, smooth as no, no chunks or debris in there at all. I'll do this for a couple minutes and then put it in the quart paint pan. Alright, that's been a few minutes. And that is just, I don't think I'm going to get anywhere else with that. That's nice. Just filling up that paint can. By the time I get it all scraped out of here, it looks like it'll be about two thirds full. I always marvel in the cooking shows when those people only clean a pot out about so so good and then throw it in the sink for washing. I'm always compelled to get as much out of there as I possibly can. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then I'll just do some cleanup with some more acetone and paper towels and we'll be done. Once again, this is very flammable and very toxic, so I don't want to be around any flames or sparks or anything when I'm doing this. <laughs>